Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Today we are on deck six. We are standing right here and we're going to show you all of what's on deck six. Uh, if you've ever watched our deck tours before, we always try to stay to the right. So if you saw on that map, the first thing over to the right here is the Cloud Nine Spa. As you see, it is completely closed. So uh, Lisa got a tour of the spa uh, when we first got on the ship, which we'll insert here. So as we continue, uh, or some sometime, we'll show you the spa. As we continue on, there's the Jubilee Theater. We'll show you what it looks like. Uh, kind of a nice long wraparound. They've got pictures of different shows that happen on the, the different ships through the years. And as you can see, it's completely closed. But if we open it, we'll sneak in. They're in here cleaning. So here's your theater. Here's your stage. We'll try to sneak in from up top so you can have a better, better look. Okay. Uh-oh, are we trapped? Got to push, not pull. <laughs> By the way, there's a little ramp right there at the edge. <clears throat> well, so that's as far right as we could get. <laughs> now, if we continue on right on the other side. Normally we would have walked all the way through the theater. Little ramp right here. So the other side, what's well, the gym? And as you can see, it's also closed. So we can't get in there, but you can see all the equipment that's in there. It's a nice workout facility, right? Lisa, I think uh, got in there earlier as well. You should see there's a bathroom right here. So let's continue to move to the rest of the deck. As you see again, we're back where we started, right here, okay? So as you move forward, again, we'll end up back here. So we're gonna keep on going. And we're gonna stay to the right. Let's see nice, incredible Jubilee rendition we come over to the the right here is the piano bar if you've never come into the piano bar on one of the ships you got to do it it's so much fun in here the guy playing the piano they're always fantastic but definitely uh real blue in here lisa yes they are real blue yes all right <laughs> so there's your piano bar Now we're entering the Grand Central area. There was a, a little bit of a bump there. All right, here's your Java Blue. All right, you have some coffee stations, some drink stations. All right, and your Java Blue. So here's your menu. There's a little breakfast area here. Um, so the breakfast is free. It's just muffins and stuff that you can see. From the bake shop, though, if you want one of their offerings, donuts, cupcakes, bun cakes, cheesecakes, that all cost you extra. Uh, and there are also some salads, stuff, uh, stuff, stuff, some sandwiches, um, steak, provolone, turkey, bacon, Swiss, salami, ham, pepperoni, provolone, grilled chicken and cheddar. There's some wraps, too, chipotle pork and buffalo cauliflower. Okay, those are all free. Um, you can also get your designer coffees over here. Good morning. Hey, morning. Your designer coffees. There's the menu for that. All right. And there's some shakes. It's going to be some shakes as well. Milkshakes, floats. That's all there as well. And, oh, they do have a refrigerator with regular drinks, bubbly sodas, um, Pepsi products. And there's also some Gatorades and stuff down there. Okay, 
We're going to stay to the right. We'll come back on the other side. You'll see it. Here's your cherry on top. So if you have a sweet tooth and need a fixin', cherry on top is your place to go. Every candy you may want is in here. And then some. Yeah. We love cherry on top. We will usually venture in there once during a cruise. A couple of places you can have chairs. By the way, somebody was asking about where you get on and get off the ship. Right here. Um, or down there. It's the, it was the same thing. I didn't point it out. So when you're uh, getting on for the first time, when you're embarking or disembarking um, the cruise, it's done here. Okay. Now I'm not talking about ports. I'm talking about, you know, your ports of call, the places you're going to visit. Um, that usually is done downstairs. Uh, that is just for when you're getting on the ship in general. You need an ATM. There's an ATM right here as well. All right. So here's your current bar. Look at this, y'all. Beautiful two-story structure. Okay. Here is the model of the Jubilee. God, it's beautiful. That model is unbelievable. God, I wonder what something like that costs. <laughs> and then here's a tiled wall. Poseidon. Nice octopus down there. Okay. And then uh, there's some seating area over here um, next to the bar. And you have a little band that plays here. Okay. It's a nice little bar. I call it the Currents. Sorry, the Golden Mermaid. <laughs> right? Now, we are at the Atlantic Restaurant. Remember, we're on deck six. Um, and so uh, this is where you enter the Atlantic restaurant. Now there was a step up right there. Did y'all see that? I wanna point that out. I remember on the celebration, people were tripping like the Dickens light right here. As you can see, it's now all lit up. There's also a ramp over there, okay? Just wanna make sure I point that out because I remember it in the celebration, everybody was tripping. So I think that light hopefully helped with everything. Nice decor in here. Uh, it seems a little bit darker uh, than some restaurants we've been in before. Um, because you got sort of darkish colored carpet. The ceiling is dark. Uh, the curtains are a dark, darker brown. Chairs are kind of a rust color. All right, so you got a window there. Hard to see what's going on out there. Okay. So there is your deck six. Atlantic restaurant. Go down here. These tables are not made up from last night's dinner experience. Again, remember the step, everybody. Got this cool little hallway connecting things. Remember, that's as far right as we could go. So we're now going to sort of change directions a little bit here. And uh, beautiful Christmas tree. All right. So this used to be Latitudes. So on the other XL class ships, this is Latitudes. Here, as you can see, it's called Dr. Inks, PhD. Um, up there, they do more ocean sort of type views. Uh, but they also do these things with the kids paintings and stuff. Let's not forget a little seating area right here. So as we continue on, you've got your Bistro 71, right? Emeralds, right? And across from Emeralds is a really nice sitting area right here. Love that. Emeralds Bistro. So here you go. For breakfast, you got a poor boy, bananas, fosters, uh, shrimps and grits, shrimp creole omelets, all kinds of different things. Uh, there's a seafood bar, you can see there. There's also what they call a little more. And then you have some sweets. Strawberries ro uh, Romanoff, lemon ice, beignets, all right? So back up here a little bit so you can see the design. 
Looks real nice. All right. Emerald's Bistro. So as we continue on, here's a nice map. Shows different points where carnival ships are, I guess. And the yellow one must be us. Yep. Yeah, we're right here. Well, that one I touched is Carnival Glory. Come on. I'm going to get away. That one's the Vista. Hello, Carnival Valor. It, it won't let me touch ours. That's funny. Maybe because we're on it. <laughs> anyway, so uh, here's the staircase that leads up. Uh, it's uh, You can go up two or three different stories. You can go to deck seven or deck eight from the stairwell. Here's your Carnival Kitchen. This looks just like the Carnival Kitchen uh, in uh, on the celebration in the Mardi Gras, right? A little ramp up. And now we're at the Pacific Restaurant, All right? Pacific Restaurant. Um, this is where we eat. All right. Little ramp getting up into the restaurant there. Now this one doesn't feel as dark as Atlantic. A little bit lighter carpet, some more blues in the air. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice feeling here. Some of the tables are a little tight. We're gonna show you where we've been sitting since we talked about it last night in the stream. There's the second story. We'll, we'll show that to you in a little bit. It's really neat in here. So now it looks like there's a lot more room right now because there's nobody sitting in their chairs, okay? But here's our table, 558. And imagine when there's somebody sitting here and somebody here, somebody trying to get through there with a scooter. Or this side, just even just a walker. They can't do it. That's <laughs> Lisa, I, I've been sitting in this chair. Lisa started out in that one. <laughs> then she moved over to this one. And she's now sitting there. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but if you're a lucky one to get a table by the windows, there are some windows here all the way around, okay? But there is your deck six Pacific dining room. So we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna do a little backtrack. Um, remember, I tell you, I always try to stay to the right, but uh, the right ended at the Atlantic. The Atlantic sort of back behind here. The kitchen's here in the middle, okay? So, uh, might, you know, like the other ships, okay, in this class. All right, so we're going to go back through. And we'll just do a quick little left here, because here's your very forward elevators and stairs right here. Okay, you see? We're now right here, not forward, aft, sorry. All right, so there's three elevator shafts, one, two, and three. Um, there was a conference room, right there that we missed. Uh, was there a conference room? Yep. All right, we'll, we'll see if we can go for, try to find it. Conference room during maiden oh, voyages. Uh, They're uh, usually using it for office stuff. As you enter the restaurant, it's over here. Yes, the true meaning and definition of the word conference room. Okay, so if you're having a tiny little gathering, or a little office meeting, if you will, that's a tiny space for it. All right, so public restrooms right outside. There's that ramp again. There's the next ramp. All right, so again, we've already walked through here, going the other direction. Um, but we didn't talk about Grand Central and a couple of things over on the right side. So we're trying to give you the full 360 here. So we want to make sure we do that. All right. And another ramp right here. You notice how wide everything is? Uh, and we were talking about that last night in our stream as well. <clears throat> That's one thing about 
uh, this design, the ship class, uh, the passageways are just nice and wide, which we love. Okay, so we came from over here, right? Um, here is Hipfish, kind of went right by it. So if you're looking for a bag, clutch, something like that, ladies or gentlemen, there you go, Hipfish. As we continue on over here, you have some more, I would call it more beachier attire, but there's also some uh, jewelries and things in here, but sort of light fare, hair ties and things, okay? Across the way, fragrances, all your beauty and fragrances, your makeup and different things, okay? Moving back, we get into Central. Here's a, an opposite entry point. Remember here and here, depending on which side the boat docks on, this would be how you get in and get off the ship when you're doing it for the first time. So here is your center stage. If you've never seen a show here, it's amazing, okay? Um, a few things that we've talked about before we got on the ship. This used to be nothing but tables. And as you see, they've added some benches, which can actually hold more people. On this other side, over here, they added this whole bank, squared out box, and added some seats. They're trying to solve their problem of seating issues. But they also built this balcony, right? See this, this, this was not here um, on the celebration. So that was added to try to create some more seating. We'll show you what that's like from, from up on uh, deck seven when we get there, okay? So the mid ship elevators are right there. Those are your midship elevators, okay? And so uh, let's go over to the right. Here's your center stage bar. We haven't seen this side yet. There's a ramp. Seeing Grand Central. So over here on the right is your Punchliner Comedy Club. Give you a reference, there's the carnival plaque that we saw, the Jubilee, and that is your piano bar. So here's your Punchliner. Carnival is known for their uh, comedians, if you didn't know. So really nice space in here. Uh, it seems like every uh, every seat's got a decent view. All right. So there's your Punchliner Comedy Club. That didn't seem to work. And here we go. We have now gone full circle. So you've seen all of your deck six so far. Let's uh, go upstairs and show you deck seven. All right. Till we see you again on another ship. Be safe.